Way back in January, I took up the 22-day yoga by Satvik movement. Every morning from 6.30 to 8 a.m., I'd look forward to learning more both in theory and asanas. Amidst the chilly winter cold, I would jump out of bed to attend this daily. This was the first time ever I signed up for yoga officially like this. To think three decades could go by dancing around, hopping around, but not once this. The only yoga I recall being part of was during activity time in International School of Geneva when I even fell asleep during a session. I used to perform acro yoga with Natya Nectar Dance Company, but I'd push myself more than I ever should have. And that doesn't count for starting yoga in this way. I've naturally been active and flexible and my career in performing art helped in that. However, yoga was never something I properly ever took up. I had known only one kind of Surya Namaskar and wasn't too regular with it either. It was always a goal for me to be able to regularly do Surya Namaskars and after this workshop, not only did I learn a new Ashtanga Surya Namaskar with Ujjayi breathing, I regularly do it first thing in the morning and have seen the immense benefit it has offered in my life. I have honestly been on the road to letting go over many years now whether in terms of decluttering items, habits, everything from food to clothing to stagnant ideas to even unnecessary workout that I was subjecting myself to. And this workshop helped me beyond expression in that journey. I might have to take it up many more times to be able to understand by heart the profound, beautiful, simple principles. Even though I follow much of it in life, I fail at reciting it theoretically. Truly how much of it made sense whether the 8 limbs of Ashtanga Yoga as a discipline for life, the 14 to 16 hour daily fast, the concepts of Brahmacharya, Satya, all of it, every little thing. It's been about 7 years of changing one thing at a time, one step at a time and truly this was the icing on the cake. Rather topping on the smoothie should I say? I made smoothies and soups and tried to follow as much as I could of the Satvik movement philosophy even though I know I was far from perfect in doing so. I was amidst huge transitions personally, professionally and in so many more fronts. Having been between places, I found a way to attend daily even amidst the clutter at family's place or my newly found nest with the limited things I have as I live very minimally. I know in reality as I transition, I used to be very hard on myself so instead of perfectionism, I see the small steps of growth and also allow myself to make mistakes as long as I move forward with truth, with balance, with simplicity, with sincerity, with kindness and with as little as I can do in peace. It may take me forever to attain the kind of discipline Satvik movement leaders and team have, but thankful to them to make this workshop possible so at least I could start my first step and embark on this lifelong journey. Thankful to Harsh Vardhan and Subha who founded Satvik movement and the team for making this workshop happen for anyone all across the globe and thankful to the yoga instructor Radhika Gupta who explained everything so clearly, so kindly that it was so easy to follow. I love, love, loved the full beginner yoga flow and was truly possible to do everything online and continue in daily life as well. Quite an era to be alive in. Thankful to have learned Trataka Dhyana as well. I've never done this before in life. I couldn't participate in the daily sharing of pictures and videos as my purpose was just to participate with my full heart. I continued with the daily mandala for 21 days and have been continuing ever since with only a few times when I fall out of practice but fall right back into it as organically as I never earlier could have. I wanted to share this on Instagram and tag Satvik movement but I've been disabled and deplatformed there. Hence sharing it here. I would urge any of you that come across this to try out their beginner yoga workshop whenever they choose to do this one again. I benefited from it immensely and I'm sure you will too. Sharing this 6 months later on International Yoga Day. Slow and steady and winning no race is the motto for life now. With every breath, grateful to have experienced this and glad to be able to share it here and now.